I reckon he is hooked up. Did he just swim to the surface? I'm highly confused. Is he in these other lines? Well, good afternoon, y'all. It is September the, not September, what what the heck day? July the 20th. And it's, uh, I got 100 degrees here in East Tennessee, which is why my brain's fried. And I don't know what date it is, but we're going to go for catfishing here on Watts Bar. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's hotter than blue blazes. It's hotter than a steel chainsaw at an East Tennessee pawn shop. But uh, we're going to do a little catfishing and maybe some striper fishing with cut bait. We've got us some skipjack, and uh, I'm gonna net some shad back in the back of this cove here. We got Alex and uh, Mr. Brian, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. I think we may start out drifting. My trolling motor's kind of been acting funky. I may have a bad battery or something going on with it, so it just kind of depends on how long that thing lasts, how long we drift. But then the current's supposed to be picking up here in a second, which is why we're out here now and not super early in the morning. Um, TBA's not been turning the gins on until like four o'clock, three o'clock, really heavy. So it takes a little while for the current to get through the lake when that happens. And uh, we're just gonna do a little bit even in night fishing because that gumming it's hot. And these seats on the boat, seats in air quote, ain't really seedy and they're really dang hot on your butt. So stay tuned for this episode of Top Knox Fishing. It's gonna be an evening of messing around and just hanging out and catching some catfish. So uh, we're gonna have a good time, come along with us. And uh, I'm sure one of us will be something, do something dumb and we'll put it on camera. And uh, hopefully we catch a good fish or two. It do be daggum beautiful out here though. Wish we had some cloud cover. Cause uh, you could cook an egg on that uh, deck up there. Look at these beautiful young ladies we have here. Skips are, was it a skip or shad? Well, we're gonna net some of them chads and uh, get to fishing. Oh yes. Last time we came fishing, we had us three big dudes and a 100 gallon bait tank in here. So the boat will handle it. We don't have the 100 gallon bait tank as the front end sinks into the water. <laughs> Got the 400 gallon bait tank. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the first spot here is shallower and dang it. And we're fishing live, not live, fresh skipjack, I'm about to fall. Cut bait, just various sizes. And I'm gonna show you what we're fishing. These big power line poles in the water here. We're in about 12 feet of water. The channel edge is right over there and it leads up right here. So if there's any active fish right now, they're gonna find this and they'll be hanging around in here. There's lots of timber and stuff and where it's got washed downstream and whatnot. But we're just starting shallow. And then we're gonna move deep. Those active fish are gonna be shallow, so this will tell us where they're at. If they're not up here, then we're just gonna progress progressively go deeper throughout the night and see if we can find them. All right, one more chunk, Sir Brian. Thank you. All right, so we spread our baits out all in front of these pillars. And again, it's really shallow, so we're only gonna give it 30 minutes here. If we don't get fish on, they ain't up here active, they're deeper. There's current carrying our bait scent right into it. And we've got a bunch of fresh bait, so either they are up here and feeding or they're not. And <laughs> we'll find out pretty quick, I think. Nothing but to do to bait and wait. Is he on us still? Yeah, reel down. Keep going. Reel, 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 keep going. Reel, 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 reel. You got him? All right, well, we're hooked up. That was quick. Five minutes. That one you got to guide in. See this? That line? Oh, you busted out the old one again. Yeah. He coming at you? Little blue cat, that was pretty quick. Not bad little fish. 
we had two hits before uh, we caught this one within like five minutes. So, fish in the boat. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. And that right there, guys, is perfect fish. For, ooh, there's another one right there hitting it. That center one. He put it down though. We're gonna fish fry tomorrow, so we're gonna keep some this size. That's the perfect eating size. We catch some big ones, we'll put them back, but this is a perfect eater. Five, six pounds. That's perfect fish fry size, guys. This is the kind of ones you wanna eat. This and a little bit smaller are perfect. We gonna hook her back up and throw her back out there, I reckon. Gotta get them scales off. Heartbreak City, if you don't. Heartbreak City. And this guy came off the gigantic cormorant nest over there. There's like a hundred of them on that tower right there, easily. This shallow water structure right here is a good place to catch eaters. Sometimes the big fish will come up here when they're real, real active. Like if the water's muddy and you got heavy flow out in the main channel, they'll come up here. But uh, this is just wetting our feet with some fish for the evening. And then we're gonna go target some deep wood cover like 30 40 feet and then a submerged barge too later in the evening look, look at that oh there we go reel, 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 reel. all right get him out of there there we go that's the backwards reel <laughs> it's left-handed oh it came off came off oh well so here's what happened on this one y'all little dinky fish were pecking on it and they rolled the hook just what happens sometimes. I'm gonna try to hook it down here. Maybe it'll be less likely to do that. I'm gonna. I'll let you swing that back out there. Yeah. I'm gonna hook this one up a little, di a little different. A little different. Do a little experiment. And now, if a big guy hooks up, I got this drag pretty locked on all of these. You're gonna have to get them up out of that. Let them out. Yeah, pull them out. You can see that fish dinking on that bait right there going like this. That's a big double bait. And just chewing the guts out of it. Brian's up there making us a regneck uh, stringer because we forgot to bring one. But yeah, he's, you can see that rod going. Those Hellcat rods are very sensitive so you can see what's going on. We got bait and stuff all around this. It wouldn't be shocking to catch a striper on cut bait on top of this hump either. We've had to double anchor too because that wind's coming out of this cove right here. And it's just pushing the side of the boat right here. And where we're like out of the uh, main shot of current, we don't have enough to put the drift bucket out and push it straight back. So we've had to double anchor. And they're kind of like out the side holding us sideways. So that's a pain, but whatever. We just got bait all around us. Look at that little dink. Little dink. So there'd be stuff busting right here. And I'm going to throw this popping cork there's that there's something skipjack that comes skipjack look at that he came off but that was a skipjack super cool i'll throw a live one right in front of one of them daggum things if we can catch one That was a skippy, guys. When in doubt, bring a skipjack rod. I'm just popping my cork. He would have already had one on it. Bye, God. Yeah, real, 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 Fish on, fish on. Oh, it came off. Bring it in. Dang it. 
For a spot like this, we're gonna put a 30 minute timer on it. If we don't catch them and wear them out real quick here, it, like I said, they just ain't here because it's so shallow, you know. Like we've been getting dink bites, like that's the wind right there. You see how all the tips of the rods are moving back? That's because the wind shifted, now it's at our back and it's pushing us against the weights. That's on there, buddy. Get him, get him, get him. We gotta turn off the Zach Bryan here so we don't get the copyright. Get him up out of there, real boy, real, 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 real. There you go. We hooked up. That took five more minutes. My boy's learning how to use the guide it yourself reel, the old saltwater reel. That may be decent, or he kind of slammed it. Oh, oh jet skis. He's a little bit better. I think he hooked himself on the side. That's what. No, it's in the mouth. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Apparently, they want cormorant crap because that's all them things doing is taking dumps down. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, let's take a vote, guys. What is gross, more disgusting? Cormorant poop or Brian's mustache? <laughs> Yo, his mouth is messed. Why is his face caved in? <laughs> Bro, why oh he look God. like that? <laughs> I caught the Brian fish. <laughs> Ryan been over here being a heathen all day, annoying us to death, and now we're gonna roast him. I don't know if we Ow, want... God! I don't know if we're riding want... the nuts. We keeping the Brian fish? Pick that up, let's see it. I think he's been caught. I don't know, maybe he's yeah, in somebody's drop. That's definitely on, what it is. Oh my God. Or maybe he just was born without yeah, a Yeah, I saw a video right one there. time of like a paid fish pond. And it had one? And fish that had like been that. caught like a bunch of times before like that. Or... Yeah. I don't know. Something ain't right there, though. Yeah. Something ain't right. I'm gonna take a picture of that on my phone. He's a little bit big to keep. Yeah. We troll him back. We can send him. He done had a hard life. Uh, you know ah! We're gonna throw a tail out, because why not? Everybody li likes a little tail. Mm -hmm. Some people like big tails. Okay. Everything in between. It's really good. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm more of a coddle fin guy myself. What? Coddle fin. Let's see if uh watch us catch something big on this. Yeah. Derp. Hi. Somebody submerged a bunch of crappie brush piles here too. I marked them last time I was out here. So we're gonna show you something super cool right here, even though I hate these birds because they always kill my skipjack striper fishing. And there is a nest of baby ospreys right there. That is super dang cool. And that's a takedown. Yeah, and that's a takedown. Yeah, he's on that, reel down on it. Yeah, reel, reel, reel. Wait, hold on, hold on. Slowly reel. See if you can get tight again. Well, we had a tank down when we were doing that. Yeah, reel. Keep going, keep going. You on? Yeah. There you go. Oh. Alrighty, hooked up again. This is another eater. Come on, boy, reel. Keep it tight. There we go. Oh, that's a perfect eater right there, baby. There we go. Yeah, baby. Perfect eater. There we go. Anyway, baby ospreys and catfish. Pretty cool. Perfect eater size right there. So our 15 or 12 to, 12 to 5 pound blue cat size appears to be in 12 feet of water. Batten's getting dinked on now. Brian's up there throwing for skipjack. I'd like to throw a live one down over here. You got something on? Got your cork messed up? Well, dang. 
we got a tailpiece on this one okay guys the right rod holder and the the third one to the right on the the t-bar there i think it's got a flathead on it because it keeps just going like this that one just got dinked a little bit see if you can get up there alec and yeah our the top of our cool is a little sticky pull them in yeah just reel down on it a little bit i feel like he's there keep going yeah, just slowly reel. You can hear them things dumping in the water everywhere. That one's getting hit right by him. The black, big cat fever. Can you feel a fish on that, Alec? Yeah. You can? I can't really tell. Hey, reel it in, see what happens. There's something on it. There's something. Or did he turn the bait like sideways? You got a fish? Yeah. I, I don't know what's going on here. You have got the littlest <laughs> channel. We got channel cut. Channel cut. <laughs> sideways. <laughs> he lassoed him, so I think that was a double bait. He gonna be a catfish sandwich. Look at this little, he lassoed himself. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's silly. Yep. <laughs> well, I ain't never doing that. You guys can do it. Let's look at them. These are my favorite. <laughs> he picked them up by the. He's got a harness on. Uh, channel cat. You gonna be bait, sir, or did food? He even get hooked? Yeah, he's hooked. So he did somehow hook himself in the mouth too. I don't know how he got that hook in there, but that little guy did. Bro, and then wrapped him up. That's all you. <laughs> I ain't doing it. That's that. There. Get that. Yeah, real, 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 real fast, 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 fast. Double. All right, get up out of there. Can we consider this a double? Yes, <laughs> this is a double. You on? Yeah. Fun eater size, baby, that's what we love. We want to have a fish fry tomorrow. We've got that finished by seven o'clock. So that's good. Now we can chase a big fish. Did he just grow up on you a little bit? Did he grow up on you a little bit, Alec? Oh yeah. There we go. That's another perfect eater. Fun, fun, fun. Wearing them out, flat wearing them out. Well, nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fish fry, baby. Fish fry. Let it be known that giant power lines in the water next to a channel is a good place to catch catfish that you want to eat, eater sized ones. But cormorants also be dookying in the water, so you got to put that in your equation. Alrighty guys, the sun is starting to set and we've made it for our final spot or our second spot of the evening. We caught a bunch of eater cats, which is good. Now we're down here and uh, these waypoints right here represent a sunken barge in this main river channel out here. So we're anchored right up above it. We're gonna cast our baits all around in front of it. And it was just loaded down with fish. There's stuff all out here too. So, you know, <laughs> we're gonna catch some stripers or catfish or something. That barge is about 84 feet back there. So I'm not gonna try to land it like right on top of it, but I wanna get it within 10 feet of it or so. If you landed on top of it, you snagged. And we're gonna have this drag down pretty good because if they hit it, we don't wanna go into it. And we're just gonna stagger the baits out one long, one a little bit shorter, one long, just stuff like that, just to pepper that thing. I'm gonna turn these clickers on so when they slam it, we can hear it, because it's about to get dark. We got the shark hook. We're trying to catch these freshwater sharks. Skipjack, there were skipjack busting a second ago out here too, so. We may troll for some skips and I'll throw a live one down or something like that. Doo -doo -doo. You to do get you going down. 
Not a ton of current, but we do have current. It's something. I'm hoping this wind dies down. There's wind coming out of this cove right here and it's pushing our back end of our boat around a little bit. Which is annoying, but just a part of it. We got some big old double rig here. And it's all tangled up from the boat ride. Got us all messed up. See if we can't fix this. All right, there we go. I'm going to sit just like that, and I'm going to squeeze it a little bit just to get those juices and start stuff to start to come back out. At least a little bit. Mmm, yum. Bet YouTube loves that. No blood and guts. No blood and guts. This is a catfishing show. So there will be indeed be blood and guts. That one already got hit. Throwing the big Mac Daddy down in front of this guy. We dropping the big boy. I will be so Put that juice on. Good for you. Got the slit in the side of it to let some more blood out, and then these have been scaled. We cut the scales or knock the scales off it just so more blood and oil gets in the water here. That's what them big catfish like. This is our outside rod. So on your outside rod, when you're anchoring in decent flow, you got to have the heaviest weight. So that's a 10, 10 ouncer. There's an eight on this, a six on that, and a four on this. Same thing going from this side, left to right, so that the heavier weights are on your outside. And then the lighter weights are on the inside, so the ones on the outside don't come into the inside ones. So that's basically why you do that. Pro move. Stagger your weight sizes. So now that one will stay all the way out there. That one's there, that one's there, that one's there. Everything stays in order. Brian's favorite bait. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, like at all. Well, dig it out. Redo. Brian's favorite bait, the pirate head. This what the, what this, happened to the last one? Mark? Oh, it went in the water. Somehow, someone did that. Who could it have possibly have been? We've been dragging for three dang days. All right. The trap has been set. We got us a beautiful sunset going on. Fresh bait in the water. We are ready to get them. We'll be back when there's a fish on or something cool happens. Got one getting swum with. Did he put it down already? He put it down. Well, we getting bit five minutes in. That one got bit and one back here got bit. Whoa, shovel. Did they go down? What's going on? We got a double going on? They come off? Yeah. Came off. All right, sit down, big boys. 
Come on, baby, go down. Go down. That's a big old head. He's swimming with it. Start reeling down slowly. Turn the clicker off and then start doing it. You still there? Yeah. Yeah, start reeling slowly. Slow reel. Don't touch. A little bit more quickly than that. That ain't taking it any long. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yep. And then once you start feeling tension on it, like it starts loading up, that's when you speed up and then that drives that hook home. He's off. He is? We got appears to be a slow takedown. Yeah, go ahead and step on up there. Slowly yep, slowly. A little bit faster than that. You basically want to match the speed that they're carrying it. Faster. Keep going, keep going, keep go, 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 go. Fast, fast, fast. Real, 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 real. No, real, 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 real. You got to reel. You can't take it out of the holder. You got to reel until it's on. Yep, messed up. I reckon he is hooked up. Did he just swim to the surface? Yeah. I'm highly confused. Is he in these other lines? He ate it and came way up. That was wild. I am surprised that that fish hooked up. Another eater size, though. Yep. There we go. Come to pop up. Nice little blue cat. Whoa! Now he's fighting. That was weird. There we go. All right, Brian's up next. Old muddy blue cat. There we go. All right, about to be the best time of the day. Sunset and dark right as it comes in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That fish ate a double. So we throw in the, the cash money, X marks the spot, double on. All right, so we gonna throw this guy back out. That one came off the left-hand side of the barge. Kind of wild, he ate it and swam up. I thought it was gonna be a striper the way it was doing that, but guess not. Yeah, he's swimming, Brian. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, he's swimming. He's swimming over top of those other ones. I think. There he is. There he is. That's a hookup. That's a hookup. That's a hookup. Is that a good fish? Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Good fish? Yeah, that's a good fish. Okay. You go to that side of the boat because you two big boys on one side is about to tip this thing over. <laughs> All right. Brian's hooked up, baby. That looks stripery. Oh, baby. He's hooked up. I wonder what lines he's in. Did you get him? I think he's definitely in this. He's in the right hand one for yeah. sure. What we got here? What we got here? How's he feel? Is he feeling catfishy or stripery? I don't really know. I'm about to find out. That rod. What? He's really not that even. Wow. How did he do that? I'm so confused. Now we've re up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got him on the side of the head. Oh, that's why. He, he's wrapped he's wrapped, up. wrapped. Yeah, he's in the other rod. Dang. Well, I probably felt so. Oh well. Number two about to go down. Oh, he's a little feller. Put it down. Dang it. Oh, we got a fish. 
I got a fish. You still want it? Nope, put it down. As soon as you touch it, you put it down. <laughs> it's getting windy out here. That front's coming in. Oh, doggy. We gotta catch one decent fish. Mark, they're in the water. Yeah. There ain't no fish in Watts Bar Lake. None. That's what no. I've been trying to tell you. No there fish. No fish. Those four, those four fish in that bucket? That's why we call it Fort Lousy. Oh, that was some lightning over there. Heat, heat lightning. Heat lightning? Yeah. Well, that's good. It only shocked you a little bit. <laughs> oh, baby. That looks fun. I really hope that is heat lightning. You would know if it was. You would hear thunder. That's still pretty sketch. I got stuck out here with one time with Ryan Fish and a big lightning storm. He's got a fish dinking on him back there. Mm hmm. I reckon I want me some taters. Ain't no fish in this lake right here on that one. I'll tell you what. Mm hmm. Oh, he got one trying to fold over. Did he put it down? He put it down. What the heck? Boy, what the heck? And boy! Maybe not. Hold on, hold on. What we got going on here? What we got going on here? I'm not sure, but I can hear the crickets and stuff chirping, and it's giving me serotonin to my dome. Do a little slow reel on it. Yeah, do a little slow reel. Ain't for show. Yeah, he ain't there. Damn. Nothing. Nothing. Ain't no fish on the N No fish. He <laughs> gets a bug in his ear. We got heat lightning going on in the background. We got a fish biting here. Quick, 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 quick. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got him? Where'd he come off? Yeah, he came off. Dang it. Yeah. Well, it's the next morning after that night fishing trip, and uh, I am not so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. We edited in videos, though, and getting this out real quick. This is from last night, and I'm posting it today, and then I've got to go to my normal job, so... Um, yeah, that's that's what happened. We caught us a, a fish fry we're gonna have this evening and uh, That lightning storm actually came in pretty good on us So we had to get the heck out of there and then all the current got shut off So the bite just died and we were like man, we had a good night We caught us a fish fry had a good time that sunset was a beautiful and uh, I cannot post it on YouTube But if you like country music Zach Bryan released another new album and uh, it's fantastic. So we listened to that while that sunset went down. And it was a great evening of big chilling and catching some catfish. I hope you enjoyed coming with us on this little adventure with Top Knox Fishing on Watts Bar Lake. That's my home lake. And, uh, you know, maybe learned a thing or two and had a good time. Coming up this weekend, I'm going on another striper fishing trip, and we're going to be throwing big artificials. We may use some live bait, some cut bait, but it's going to be another adventure from a jet boat. We ain't taking my boat because I don't want to knock the prop off, but it should be a good time. We're going to film all of it, and uh, we're going back fishing with Chris, and Chad's going to be coming with us. So if you hadn't watched that video series yet, go back to the two videos before this where uh, we did a... Um, what was it? A kayak fishing trip, throwing big artificials for striped bass. We caught some monsters. This time we're going to be from a boat this coming weekend, so it's going to be easier to film, and uh, we'll be able to fish the high current, which may pick the bite up a little bit. Either way, going to be a good time, a great adventure, and we'll catch you on that trip, guys.